Birthing a new Nigeria is achievable through a transformative shift in the political landscape, paving the way for a more inclusive, prosperous, and progressive United Nation. This was the consensus of youths at the Northern Youth Summit held in Kaduna, Northwest Nigeria. This was to echo the call for political reform, uniting youths from Nigeria's 19 northern states to champion a fresh approach to leadership, stressing the need for unity and support for a youthful, visionary candidate committed to rebuilding Nigeria. The National President of the Northern Youth Alliance, Ambassador Aliyu Bin Abbas, highlighted the nation's economic challenges, attributing them to outdated political practices and called for a new generation of thinkers to redefine Nigeria's trajectory with innovative solutions. When you, when you look at the issue of uh, insecurity, uh, most, most of the time the victims happen to be youth and women. So Nigeria is actually not working. That is why we decided to come together, young people and women from the ruling party APC, the PDP, the Labour Party, NNPP, PRP and APGA in order to bring our heads together, then have a rethink, and then uh, rebirth or build a new Nigeria for our dream. Unemployment, poor education, the system is not working for all of us. So now we are united in our suffering. And we have now decided to say enough is we cannot continue to watch only for a few people that are not up to 1,000 to amass the wealth and resources of Nigeria that is meant for over 250 million of us. And you know that the youth, we are the largest population in the voting demography in Nigeria. Am I making sense? When we arise, all of them will roll. The summit also spotlighted human rights concerns, particularly condemning the recent arraignment of minors allegedly involved in the end bad governance protest. You may recall recently there was black out of electricity in the region. That was not by mere coincidence, it was a sabotage. We consider it a sabotage and to the detriment of contributing quarter to the national unity. We condemn such action and we pray that it should not Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.